Hi everyone, we're back with another video. Yes, I'm good, thanks for asking. Now, for those of you who have no idea what's happening, Australia actually has a brand new national hero. Now, I'm gonna tell you a little story, and you're either gonna think this story is the funniest thing ever, or you're gonna think it's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my entire life, and I'm 100% convinced that Australia is not even a real country. It is one massive joke to the world. But I think you're gonna find this quite funny. Okay, so there is a kid named Will Connolly. He's a 17 year old boy, lovely young man, and he has gone viral, not only in Australia, but worldwide, for cracking an egg over a politician's head. I said uh, I utterly, utterly oppose any form of violence within our community, and I totally condemn uh, the actions of that gunman. <laughs> I said uh, I utterly oppose any form of violence within our community and I totally condemn uh, the actions of that gunman. And now he is affectionately known all around the globe as Egg Boy. Egg Boy, Egg Boy, Egg Boy, Egg Boy, yeah the Egg Boy. Egg boy, yeah the egg boy. So to break it down for you very quickly, there is a senator in Queensland, which is a state in Australia, which is also the state that I don't live in. So that automatically means it's inferior. It's also a place where people have no teeth because their tap water doesn't actually have fluoride, which is essential for healthy teeth and healthy gums. So when you go to Queensland, a lot of people don't have teeth. But that's besides the point. There is a senator in Queensland named Fraser Anning. Now this guy is a real piece of work, okay? He has been affiliated in the past with One Nation, which is the racist Australian political party. He's also made comments saying that Australia needs a final solution, which no, don't, no, don't need it. No. And after the Christchurch terrorist attacks last week, he actually came out with a statement basically saying that uh, it was their own fault that this happened because Muslims preach uh, radicalism. And it, again, no, doesn't make sense, you idiot. And the backlash from those comments was swift and severe, just how it should have been. And then the day after he released that statement, he actually held a press conference to basically clear the air, just to say, hey, uh, I still don't condone what the terrorists did, so it doesn't really matter what I said. I think terrorism is bad, so let me off with a warning, please. But no, 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 that didn't go exactly how he planned because there was one person that did not allow Mr. Fraser Anning to get off with a warning, and that is our friend Will Connolly, AKA Egg Boy. So he had this press conference, right? But it looked like it was just held in a room that anybody can walk into. Like it was completely open to the public. There was no security, there was nothing stopping any random person from walking in and doing whatever they want. And it turns out that's exactly what happened because during the press conference, while the cameras were rolling, our friend Will Connolly actually stood behind Fraser Anning in perfect view of the camera. And then what happened next, it was pretty funny. I mean, you could tell something was gonna happen the second that he pulled out his phone and started recording, because as soon as that happened, he pulled out a big old shiny free range egg and he went smack right on Fraser Anning's head. And oh my God, that had to hurt because I have had eggs thrown at me before, I'm not sure why. I don't actually remember what the, the reason for this was, but I know it definitely happened. And I know for a fact, it really hurts. Not saying that, you know, going around egging people that say bad things is the right thing to do, but I'm also saying that it is actually the funny thing to do. So maybe do that just so I can talk about it in a shitty YouTube video. And within seconds of Egg Boy throwing the egg at Fraser Anning's head, he was gang tackled by a massive bunch of bogans wearing thongs. So after all this went down, Egg Boy basically became an Australian icon. His Instagram gained over 600,000 subscribers. People set up a GoFundMe page to help fund the lawsuit that would happen because he assaulted a politician. Um, one thing I also didn't mention before is as soon as Fraser Anning got the egg hit right over his head, his natural instinct, which is everybody else's natural instinct really, when they get something thrown at them, is they turn around and they start swinging. And turns out he actually, one, two, punched a 17 year old kid, which is not a great look for anybody really. And, and because Egg Boy hit him before he hit him, uh, 
everybody assumed that he was going to get sued. So people set up a GoFundMe to help him out. Turns out the charges were actually dropped and he was not going to get sued. So Eggboy actually said that he's going to donate all the funds raised from the GoFundMe. He's actually going to donate all the money to the families of the victims of the Christchurch terror attack. Which, mate, Eggboy, you're already a national hero. What more could you do right? He's even transcended over to the United States of America because fellow Australian hero Ben Simmons actually wore a basketball shoe with the words Eggboy written on them. And so if that's not making it, I really don't know what is. And like anything else that happens anytime ever, there are memes that follow. So why don't we just have a look at some of these memes right now? Eggboy will defeat Thanos with an infinity egg in Endgame. Pass it on. <laughs> uh, hey Thanos bro, sorry, but your infinity gauntlet has nothing on a measly little egg. Why don't you move on? You blame Muslims. Your brain needs more protein. Take this. See? What happened to that guy that said that if you eat an egg, that's basically the equivalent of smoking five cigarettes. I want this guy to see this video of Egg Boy, and I want him to finally acknowledge that eggs, they do have a benefit. And it just so happens that the benefit was being used as a weapon, which, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a perfectly fine use for it. Usually people throw eggs at houses and cars, but they don't really throw them at people, so... I think Egg Boy is going to start a trend, a very worrying trend at that. But now the humble egg is going to have a new lease on life. Four delicious and simple egg recipes. Mmm, we've got a lovely scotch egg. We've got a quiche. Quiche, spelled K-E-E-S-H. Quiche. We've got a nice eggs on toast. And uh, we've <laughs> you can veganize this awesome recipe by replacing the egg with a brick. Ooh, that's, that's a bit too far. Although... <laughs> Alright, so the next one is actually every 17-year-old Australian boy's dream come true. There's a hip-hop group in Australia called Hilltop Hoods. Um, <laughs> I don't actually think I've ever heard any of their songs ever. Not my speed, mind you. They posted a tweet a few days ago and it says, Egg Boy, you have free entry to any Hoods show for life, should you wish. That is all any 17-year-old boy in Australia has ever ever wanted. And I have a feeling that there's going to be so many people out there that are going to be disappointed that they did not take the time to throw an egg at a politician. Because if they knew that they were going to get free Hilltop Hoods shows for life, a hundred people would have done it before. So based on that, I think we're going to see a whole lot more eggings a whole lot more frequently. And oh my God, I can't wait. <laughs> Uber. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that. I wouldn't even pay for that. That's gross. Here we go, we got the classic uh, Simpsons chair meme. There you go, yep, yep, cool, makes sense, great, okay, cool. What is this? Someone's messaged Fraser Anning on Facebook. <laughs> Can I offer you a nice egg <laughs> in this joint? <laughs> that's very, that's good, that's very good. What is this? The Virgin Fraser Anning, some dumb blah, 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 blah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we all love the Chad egg boy. Go, oh, God, I wish I was a Chad. Oh, my Lord. In his prime, yep. Yep, God. Man, Egg Boy's so cool. Guy, he's such a chad. And I'm sitting here like a, like a real cuck. Ooh. An egg and Fraser Anning's fucking head together at last. <laughs> Does anyone still dispute the link between my dumb <laughs> fucking egg and a free ranging? <laughs> Not anymore, we don't. There are so many Simpsons memes that relate directly to this event. Like, it's almost as if the Simpsons predicted this as well. Can this egg get more likes than Kylie Jenner? Oh, 100% it could. That egg is literally saving lives. Finally, a challenger for the greatest shot by an Australian. <laughs> yeah, well, no one gives a shit about cricket anyway, so that should be at 100%. Egg boy for the win every time. Nazi goring, wow. There you go. That's the perfect spot to end this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hopefully now you have a bit more of an understanding of how messed up a country Australia is because we literally worship a 17-year-old kid that chucked an egg at someone. Like that statement alone is pretty concerning, but that doesn't matter because, eh, it's, who cares? Who cares? Again, hope you did enjoy this video. If you did like it, make sure you slap a like on the vid. If you're new to the channel, sub to the channel. Definitely do it. Very good idea. And um, that's it. Also, stop talking about my hair in the comments, all right? Don't hate me because you ain't me. All right, bye. <laughs>